This man in Saddle, Yorkshire, was trained as a doctor, but retained throughout his life an interest in practical mechanics. The writer of his obituary in the Times in 1841 averred that, had he been encouraged to follow his own inclination, he might have rivaled the discoveries of Arkwright or of Watt. After graduating from Edinburgh University, having completed a thesis on the blood entitled Tentamum Chemico-Physiologicum de Sanguine, which was not only written but also publicly defended in Latin, George Birkbeck's first experience of teaching was as a professor of natural history at Anderson's Institution in Glasgow. This had been set up by John Anderson, a visionary but epically spiky individual whose loathing of Glasgow University was strong enough for him to leave money on his death to set up a rival institution bearing his name. An institution in which he insisted there would be no room for the almost constant intrigues which prevail in the faculty of Glasgow College about their revenue and the nomination of professors and their acts of vanity or power inflamed by a collegiate life. <laughs> Birkbeck's innovation at Anderson's institution was to introduce in 1800 what he announced as a series of lectures upon the mechanical properties of solid and fluid bodies abounding with experiments and conducted with the greatest simplicity of expression and familiarity of illustration solely for persons engaged in the practical exercise of the mechanical arts. This last provision came about in rather a pleasingly circular way. George Birkbeck was always very anxious to be able to offer practical and striking illustrations and demonstrations for his lectures. Finding that he was lacking the apparatus to do this effectively, he ventured out to the workshops of Glasgow to commission various new items of equipment. Explaining what he needed and why provoked, he said, such intelligent curiosity on the part of the glass blowers, carpenters, and turners with whom he communicated that he realised that there could be no better audience for his lectures than the very Glasgow mechanics who were supplying his educational technology. This mechanics class, as he called it, was to be the germ of the institution and indeed the movement that Birkbeck would inspire 20 years later. In 1804, George Birkbeck left Glasgow and came to London to pursue his medical career, but he retained his interest in the sciences before long, was taking a leading role in the Chemical Society, the Meteorological Society, the Astronomical Society, and the Geological Society of London. He is very likely also to have attended the famous and formative lectures of Humphrey Davy and Michael Faraday at the Royal Institution, lectures which would have confirmed him 